Welcome to the introduction to the book of James. The book of James was likely written in the 60s or 70s AD. It's not really clear who the author was, as scripture scholars have gone back and tried to ascertain, because there aren't really any specific um, historical components which would lead them to who wrote the book and frankly when it was but it's clear that the book was not written to a single community like many of the other letters that Paul wrote but rather in the beginning it talks about being written to the 12 tribes in dispersion the dispersion that they're referring to were these early Christians who were living in Jerusalem but over time had been dispersed whether it was due to persecution or for other reasons they were now settling outside of Jerusalem. The book of James is a very short book but it's a very good summary on how to live a Christian life. It's sort of a collection of the various teachings of Jesus and as we'll see as we look at the various chapters this coming week it often parallels some of the teachings that Jesus has in his Gospels. The teachings include information about our faith, about ascertaining wisdom and perseverance, how to treat the poor versus the rich, talks about how important it is to put our faith into action rather than just saying that we're faith-filled but doing nothing. And it also has a part about watching how we speak to others and how we uh, control the words that come out of our mouths. Toward the end of the book, there are references toward the sacrament of anointing of the sick and its healing powers, those powers being spiritual, freeing us from our sin, say as we are sick or before we die, and it also refers to, if God is willing, physical healing. So I hope you enjoy this week as we dig deeper into the book of James, and I hope that by reading the book of James in this beginning of our new year, this might lead us to a more deep devotion to being Christian. It may lead us to a more deep devotion in living out the gospel teachings. And as a result, God will bless us and our families more as we traverse through 2021. I look forward to speaking to you tomorrow. Amen.